In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to add extra impact to your videos by temporarily stopping the action to focus on a single frame. You'll learn how to use the freeze frame feature and adjust the duration. I'll also show you how you can add cool effects to these freeze frames to emphasize these special moments even more. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here, you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. I have Video Studio opened up with a few different clips already added to the video track on my timeline. This first video is of a girl celebrating her birthday and about to blow out the candle. I want to freeze frame just as she blows out the candle and you can see all the smoke emitting. To do this, I'll drag the scrubber on my timeline to the part of the clip that I want to freeze frame. Next, click on Edit and then Freeze Frame. Alternatively, I can right-click on the timeline and select Speed, then Freeze Frame. This is a new feature in Video Studio 2019. In previous versions, Freeze Frame was a separate item on the right-click menu, not grouped with the other speed tools. From here, you'll see a preview of the frame you want to freeze, and you can adjust the duration of the frame in seconds and frames. I'll adjust this to 6 seconds. Then click OK, and you'll see that the video clip has been automatically split into two with the new frozen frame in the middle. We can shorten or lengthen the duration of the freeze frame by clicking on the snapshot on the timeline and hovering our mouse over the left or right of the clip and dragging it to extend the length longer or shorter. I'm going to drag the clip to extend it to about 4 seconds. Another thing we can do to even further emphasize this moment is to add an effect to the snapshot. Click on the FX tab and choose from any of the effects in the library. I'm going to click on the colored pen effect, then drag it on top of the snapshot on the timeline. Then let's go to the Transitions library and click on Crossfade and drag that between the snapshot image and the final video clip. This will create a smoother transition between the freeze frame and the video clip. Now press play to preview and you'll see you have a unique clip to share with your friends and family. Lastly, we'll use another example of a guy riding his bike. I'll drag the scrubber to the point where he is flying in the air with his bike and this time we'll freeze the frame using a different method. Click on edit and then take a snapshot. Now a snapshot will be taken of this exact frame and added to your library. But before we use the snapshot image, we'll need to click on the video clip once again, then right-click on the timeline and select Split Clip. Or I can tap the letter S on the keyboard to split the clip. Now we can drag the snapshot from the library and place it in between the two clips. And again, adjust it to our desired length. This time I want to add a pan and zoom effect to see the guy stunned up close. I'll double click on the snapshot on the timeline to bring up the effects editor. Then I'll click pan and zoom and select one of the preset options so it zooms up on the biker in the middle of his stunt. Finally, I'll add a transition between the snapshot and the last clip so it has a nice smooth transition between the effect and the video. Now I'll preview my video and you'll get a great up-close shot of the biker performing his stunt. These are just a few ways you can freeze a frame to enhance your videos. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Video Studio.